Hello everyone, guess what? I am in a carpet producing center here. So this uh, carpet, exotic, uh, uh, traditional and very interesting uh, part of the Afghan industry uh, which are made in different provinces. I am in the western part of Kabul city at the moment in an area named Dashte Burji. So I will show you first a carpet which is already prepared and finalized uh, from the weaving process here. As you can see, this carpet is just prepared right here in this part. And I will show you there's these tools that are used. Uh, they call it changak uh, or hanger. And then this is shauna or uh, something that they use to push those wool when they are ma making and preparing the, these carpet. With owl. I'm going to show you. And this is almost the skeleton which they use. Uh, uh, and before they get prepared the wool, uh, usually it's used to prepare uh, the frame for the carpet. Uh, if it's uh, the size is dependent on this, and they are used as a, a skeleton of the carpet. Uh, and also this, uh, the corners and the end part, as you can see, they put something here, and that's uh, it's rolled out. Uh, this is another stuff that they usually. It's very tough, uh, and there are all. Uh, wool uh, made and they are very natural. So uh, I will now show you uh, in this part uh, there are a couple of girls. They're mostly school girls because uh, the secondary schools in Afghanistan shut nowadays. They got a uh, a business for themselves. Uh, they learn weaving the carpets in this section. As you can see, dozens of those girls. This uh, area is full of all, all female workers indeed, as you can see here in this part. So I will show you how they weave in this area. As you can see here, uh, she is really fast in weaving the carpets. This is wool and different colors. But the sizes are specified how to weave the carpets and that when they use it like this, that's the process. A very determined, tiring, and at the same time, uh, for me, it's interesting. As you can see, they use their hands and continuously. They work here from 10 to 12 hours every day uh, in this area. Uh, I will, I will uh, talk with one of them uh, who are sitting right here. Let's speak to them how they observe. Salam bashuma, khasana bashin. Chitur asi shuma ija ki masroof astin da kare qalin bafi. Chitur yaf و از چه قدر مدت هست که شما در قالین بافی مصروف ساختن خود را؟ آه قالین بافی مصروف ساختن خود را؟ بازی که چیه؟ شکر Okay, so she says that uh, she is busy from a long time here and she has learned about uh, mastering the weaving carpet process is something di uh, difficult and it uh, uh, time costly and I will talk with this uh, uh, lady now right here. شما خود را اول معرفی بکنین و بعد چقدر وقت میشه شما مصروف قالین بافی هستید؟ به نام خدا سبرکول هستم تخلص میکنم خاوری مدت دو هفته من شده که ما در اینجا آمده قالین کار کردن سبرکول هر میدونم Summer girl, and she says two weeks only that she got busy here, and she's learning and a learning process now. But chetur yaftin iprosare sahtas yasal. Misyar sahtas da qalin baftan waqiyat kari yasal nis da qablan ki bud mada khanam kar mikin wa hala ham da khana ham dar mada in jamdar. Chun baad az ki maktaba baray ma dakhtar khanma masan baastash da ma in jah ba khater qalin kar dalana. Says it's a tiring and difficult process to weave the carpets, and because our school. The secondary schools are shut, and uh, we uh, saw this uh, uh, factory as an opportunity for ourselves and got busy learning carpet weaving. Uh, but it's still, she says, a process which needs time, focus, and learning it is not an easy task. 
تا چی مدت شما میتونین تیزتر شوین و حالا که شما دو هفته آمدین چقدر می، می فکر میکنه تیز شده دیگه ما خواستم خلفه کار هستیم دیگه کار ما اینجا عالی است از دیگران ما که هستیم ما 6000 میگیریم دیگه از ما که اینا پایین تر میگیره نظر در کار ما باز فرق میکنه یعنی خود تیزتر یاد گرفتی بله Mr. Shakur, she says that uh, I've been here for two weeks. Uh, I learn it very fast, so uh, she's a quick learner indeed. And uh, she says I'm very good now. Uh, the payment here for uh, the workers uh, is uh, from, uh, if we count it from Afghani, from uh, 4,000 uh, to 6,000 Afghani. And this lady, Samar Gul, uh, she earned 6,000 Afghani, which is almost around uh, 70 to 80 dollars per month. Uh, and that's a very low wage indeed for the workers who work here and the uh, carpet weaving process it's a difficult task because the wages are low and the task they are difficult i have great I mean and that's why uh, they have nothing to do nowadays either they have to stay at home without anything to do or they got busy here so at least they can uh, earn something and learn weaving the carpets here in this section uh, and the wools I, I will I will uh I was uh, in a factory where they produce these wools when they are connected from the sheep and uh, uh, different provinces of Afghanistan and they are brought there it's a different uh, and difficult process uh, which is up uh, so first they produce it and then the coloring process the, they start uh, from natural colors from trees and plants that they use and they boil the water and very big and after that, they put the wool inside those basins uh, or the bowels, which were really big, and uh, keep rolling it for hours uh, till they got the color. Some of the colors that we see in the wool factory, they are very much natural uh, because uh, sheep have different colors. If they are white, black, or gray color, so they use it in a carpet. I also saw a carpet which was really uh, uh, natural. No coloring no nothing and uh, according to the producers it lasts for many years and even they are stronger uh, for uh, like against water against fire against and much more uh, more things different uh, factory in Afghanistan in this industry the investment is higher but particularly if we talk about the investment and marketing uh, uh, process or part China has been uh, playing a very vital and active role in producing the carpet and promoting Afghan carpets like there would be the China uh, International Import Expo uh, in a couple of days and that's an opportunity of, uh, according to Afghan merchants that they will be able to uh, uh, promote their carpets and uh, not only China but uh, the biggest market and promotion uh, fact, uh, sector is China but USA United Kingdom and even even some Europe, other European countries, uh, uh, the Afghan carpets uh, are exported, uh, uh, exported, and that's that's the procedure which was, uh, according to many, not possible without the cooperation of regional countries, particularly China. As we see in this sector, uh, you see this. They call it uh, shana, the thing, the tool that they use to press the carpet when it's waved uh, it needs to be in the same line so they got maps like like this let me show you this this is a map which they use to weave the carpets and it's a you can see it's a small map every section like for example in that section if these two girls are working in this sector so they got this map they use the colors from here, these wool, 
and then they see this map in front of them, the graphic designs that are used uh, uh, for carpets, and then they follow this, the colors, and every line of them, uh, uh, the millions of lines uh, finally equals to a carpet, and this tiring process, it takes days and nights of working, even some uh, longer carpets like uh, 12 uh, or 16 uh, meters long carpets, it takes uh, uh, about a month. And these are the working force, the human uh, resources uh, for producing the carpets in Afghanistan. And as you can see, the Afghan carpets are really famous for its quality, because the quality matters at the end of the day. And uh, very good markets uh, in many other countries, particularly in China, I've been talking with uh, some producers. They showed me even a very large studio which will pr prepare something different and will show you in a different uh, format. Uh, uh, they are promoting their carpets from Afghanistan. They have their shops and uh, uh, marketing in China and United Kingdom and the USA uh, uh, and other countries. So this is how uh, the merchants are dealing with the carpet and, and about that it's uh, time uh, taking uh, but the merchants say and the producers say they need visas, they need ways, they are, need air carriers uh, to finally uh, import their carpets to different countries. I will go to this part uh, and will show you. These are also the school girls, like all of them are school guy, uh, girls, and they're, they're uh, now busy with weaving the carpets. See this process. This is only one line of the carpet. So first, they use this as the main skeleton or uh, the structure of the carpet. And then, when it's ready, they will use the wool here. Again, everywhere there are wools. For example, blue, green, dark green, and gray, and different colors. And at the end of the day, like I showed you, this carpet, it's produced. This is the opposite side. Let me show you the right side of wh wh which they weave. This is the right side, the upper side of the carpet. So it is not the final stage. As you can see, this is not well, very well pr prepared. The graphics and the flowers or designings that you see, they, they are now in its first stage. And when it's done, they will bring it to the factory to polish it, and then other machines uh, to cut it, to make it smoother and very silky, soft one. So it needs one, two, three, four, five, uh, and finally sixth process is washing the carpets and drying it, and finally they would be ready for the marketing. Uh, it needs more, much more energy at the same times, like you see, they've been sitting here with, uh, on these wood because it's a traditional. Uh, Afghanistan has been producing carpets, the wool carpets, uh, for centuries, uh, and mostly in the central provinces like Bamiyan and also Ghazni, they were the main uh, provinces, but not limited now to the uh, central provinces. It's now produced in uh, eastern part of the country like Ningrahar and also Kunar, uh, and the same uh, systems they have installed in different provinces. And the businessmen, they say, uh, uh, the human capacity is very good. They are expertized. Uh, this is the newly learning section, but there are experts among them. I will now go with the, an authority and talk with them. Uh, I will talk now with this uh, gentleman who is responsible for this uh, part of the carpet weaving and producing uh, factory. So I will talk with him. Uh, and as I, I talk with him, I will use my mic, of course. <laughs> نظر در کار از فی متر پانزه روز یک متر در پانزه روز کار میکنه کارگر 
One meter long uh, carpet, it takes 15 days. So this is six meter long, right? And it takes like, if you uh, uh, calculate it, more than three months, just this carpet took time, you know? There, every line, every coloring, and every process چقدر افراد در کمپانی شما در شرکت شما مصروف این کاروبار هستند فعلا مصروف کاروبار از نظر تعداد یک کارگاه 5 نفر تقریبا 150 350 نفر شاید باشد حدودا تنها در کابل در کابل خیلی زیاد است یک دمی ساحه در ساحه بچی سو ان دس ایریا دس اونلی کمپانی ویچ بیلونگز تو هاشمی برادرز آی تینک Uh, they say they got 350 workers, most of them. Uh, the, the maximum number is female workers and the girls, women, and even most of the uh, families or now uh, that their income comes from weaving the carpets and producing it because uh, three or four people, uh, they brought the wool and installed the same uh, system in their houses. And when it's installed, they start weaving it and they got timing for this and at the end of the they produce the carpets in different locations of Kabul city. 8,000, more than 8,000 people are busy with just this company and all around Afghanistan there are uh, dozens of thousands of people and families who have been working in the uh, carpet industry. Zamanin ke shumo bari azina masuliyat metin, aya wakhtan bari shan mushakhas mekunin? وقت تو وقت مشخص ندارم صرف و نمو کار که دارن اینا در روی کوالتی کار میکنن سی و پنج در چل گرافا کلش کوالتی داره سی و پنج چل سی چل باز روی امازو کوالتی کار اینا کار میکنن So uh, he says, Mr. Rizal says, uh, he's responsible for this section. He says that uh, every uh, family or sector uh, that they have been working, they got timing for this, but there is no specific time. Uh, he says that important thing is following the colors and the designings and the quality that they work and different factories right here. As, as I was talking with uh, you guys, that uh, this is the skeleton, it's the opposite side. As you can see, they use it on that side. Uh, they use all the designing in this sector and prepare a very beautiful carpet that we use at our homes or offices every day. It seems that it, it would be simple. As like I was thinking, it's a simple task, but as I visited here, uh, I saw, no, that's a really, really, difficult and tiring process when uh, those uh, uh, guys uh, are working on this uh, pr pr process and projects. So uh, I will show you this section of uh, the industry. I was talking about this thing. It's really heavy. Like they use it this way as I've been following them. I love to learn this indeed. But they use it like this to push it and they push it because they want it to be conjoined very strictly and very strongly as you push this you know it needs very much energy and both hands busy with this mostly they're working with that uh, other tool that they are using in their hands so this as one part of, uh, of the process. After those carpets are uh, prepared, they usually go to the other uh, pro parts, as I said. They will cut the, the smoother areas and those wool who are, uh, which are extra, they will remove it and finally they will uh, sketch it and screw it to finally make it very well prepared. So this, uh, we can say this is the raw material now. The raw carpet, it's finalized it's prepared uh, for the uh, upcoming stages but it's not final it needs much more work much more processes and everything about the coloring which was really interesting for me the coloring process here it's uh, a different process like their natural curls from plants and the plants are collected from different areas of Afghanistan when they are collected there is another process to how to produce those colors uh, and when uh, they produce the colors they bring it with other materials some of them are chemical to make it a combination of coloring but when it's colored when it's weaved and it's produced uh, 
I was told by the merchants and the producers that you cannot remove it. They use the chemicals at the end of the day uh, for the washing process to test it. If the colors are removable, they will renew the process and produce the same designing, same car carpet again. It's all about the coloring. Uh, like you can see here, the color is important. Uh, the, there are two types of uh, carpets in Afghanistan being produced. One is Uzbek style and one uh, second one is like this one, Hazara type. Uh, so Uzbek also ethnicity of Afghanistan in Hazara but they are famous for the carpets. Uh, 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 we uh, cannot understand what's the difference but uh, when you see the quality, the styling, the weaving and producing, uh, they, all, uh, every one of them has a different procedure to weave it and to finalize it. Uh, even designings, uh, if you see Hazara uh, sort of uh, uh, carpet designs, it will show you the Hazara style. Uh, and if you see Uzbek style, it would be Uzbek style. There are some differences uh, that you can uh, see. But uh, they're not limited. Uh, as the merchants and the producers uh, want to produce the carpets, they get orders. Uh, and even the graphic designs, for example, if you want to produce a uh, lot of uh, carpets uh, for selling outside the country you can just send them the graphic designs uh, well prepared and they will change it to the designs like I showed you the map that they use uh, to weave it and that's the process that according to them uh, they are now using different sort of uh, designings and themes and the carpets in Afghanistan and now they're, they're getting modernized at the beginning no factory was available even the washing process process uh, was not available. The only thing was just this uh, installation of the framework that they've been using and the wool with these two tools. It's still the same but other parts, uh, parts of the producing, uh, it's different now. So this was the carpet uh, weaving section and the carpet producing as an exotic part of the Afghan traditional uh, uh, industry and the carpet have been famous for their quality, for the colorings and most of those who have been living abroad, uh, they, are now, they have now access to Afghan carpets uh, but there is much more to be needed, for example, how for the export, to, for the merchants and businessmen, those who have been producing carpets in the country uh, and the aerial uh, connectivity which Afghanistan now suffers a lot. Uh, I hope you've been uh, enjoying this uh, sector and uh, I will uh, now go to this section as you can see. Uh, let me show you again. Uh, as I was talking about this I was searching to show you exactly what I was telling. The map that they are using and these tools look the they, they are just beginners you know they are not the master they have uh, they have not mastered the process yet but they are still very fast most of them have been working for months because the schools as I said they are shut and they're using uh, uh, they're uh, investing their time on weaving the carpet and learn it uh, from other side people of Afghanistan has been in a position that uh, the market the human resources are very huge but the thing is the wool uh, most of the time the leg the those who produce the carpets they leg the wool they leg the other material that they've been using uh, and for this process uh, and they say they need much more connectivity with the regional countries and that's why China is available to finally boost uh, the market for Afghan carpets and promote them uh, with different uh, meetings, different exhibitions like the China International Import Expo or the CIIE. So for now, that's it and I hope you guys have enjoyed. See you soon.